All right, Noah with the 44 mag Marlin Dark with the 400 grain pink subsonic bullets. Wow, it hits up really hard. <laughs> Maybe not shoot the, the okay. dual entry. Howdy folks, for today's video, we're gonna be shooting some super heavy 400 grain, 44 mag subsonic loads in my Marlin lever action rifle. And since we're talking lever guns, let's cue some cowboy music. Now, as to why someone would want to cast, load, or shoot 400 grain 44 mag loads, I'll leave that up to you guys to figure out, but as for me, I did it because I could. Also, because NOE had just produced the slick sided mold to do so. I guess if you want one decent reason besides just for fun, or because I wanted to, one reason for doing that heavy of a load in a 44 mag would be to maximize the energy of a subsonic load if shooting suppressed. When working with subsonic ammo, the only way to increase energy of a load would be to increase the mass since velocity is constant. You know, like around a, a thousand feet per second or so. Now, let's hurry and throw out a disclaimer for the YouTube overlords. First, I am not instructing anyone on how to manufacture ammo. I am just showing the viewers what ammo I am shooting later on in this video and why with some critical details. Second, this load worked just fine in my gun but may not in yours. So if you're going to do something similar, you are going to do it at your own risk. Okie dokie, disclaimer done, let's get to it. A while back, NOE made some grooveless 400 grain 44 mag molds. The model is the HTC 431-400-FN-S6 with the options of a hollow point or non-hollow pointed mold. I of course picked up one of each so I could play around and test them both. The bullets that I shoot in this video were cast with an alloy similar to clip-on wheel weights and ended up weighing about 400 grains. For this video, I used the hollow point mold with the flat nose pins. I didn't spend time adjusting the pins, so I got little nipple looking shapes on the tips of the bullets. While this shouldn't affect anything major, it just makes the bullets look a little uglier. Speaking of ugly, after casting the projectiles, I powder coated them with a glass clear and pink from powderbythepound.com's powder coating powder. I'd say they turned out looking a little bit on the ugly side, but that shouldn't affect functionality much. To be honest, they probably could have used a second coat, but I didn't feel like doing that. For this load that I worked up, I chose to use CCI Large Pistol Magnum Primers. The Magnum Primers help ignite the grainy ball powders a little bit better. And for this particular load, I ended up using 12 grains of Winchester 296 or H110 because those two powders are the same. And seated the bullets to 1.624 inches. You might have noticed that there is no crimp groove on this bullet. No crimp groove, no problem. I just give it a firm crimp into the side of the bullet, which works just dandy. This load sends them out of my Marlin Dark 44 mag lever gun at just over a thousand feet per second. Now, as a quick side note about barrel twist and these heavy, long bullets, to stabilize these longer bullets, you would want to have a twist rate of about one in 26 or faster, at least according to the ballistic stabilization calculators that I, I checked. In the case of the Marlin 44 mag rifles, the older and regular model 
44 mag 1894 lever guns have a twist rate of 1 and 38 which is pretty slow. The Marlin Dark 44 mag which features a threaded barrel has a twist rate of 1 and 10 which is quite the extreme difference. 1 and 10 is plenty to stabilize these heavies. Anyways, let's get out to the range and do a little bit of shooting. Maybe next time though. Eight, let's see if it'll take. Nope, you're right, just eight. Okay. No hearing protection? <laughs> yeah, this time for sure. <laughs> it nicked it and you can just hear the bullet. <laughs> that so much lead. Ah, oh. you only wish there was more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Noah with the 44 mag Marlin Dark with the 400 grain pink subsonic bullets. Wow, it hits up really hard. <laughs> Maybe not shoot the, the okay. dual injury. Oh crap. <laughs> that was <up>. out. Yeah. <laughs> Man, those things are crazy. Yeah. Shooting the 400 grain heavies. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can hit. You're not joking about that mirage. Yeah, there's like a huge mirage. That front side's hard to see. <laughs> oh. oh man. That, that eight rounds goes fast. Well, on the 400 grain like subsonics, like these are actually fun to shoot. I really enjoy this. It makes me want to get a 44 mag. Yeah. Because I've shot 44 mags before and they're just miserable. <laughs> what, the handguns or what? Well, like the, 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 like if you get a Rossi with the oh, steel with butt the metal plate. butt plate, yeah. Yeah, but this Marlin with the squishy butt pad and the subsonics and the suppressor, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's more like a slow push instead of a, a snappy thing. But yeah, for, I like 44 mag even with the Rossi hard butt plate and stuff. Yeah. Barrel's starting to warm up a bit with these are so fun, we're going through the ammo so fast. Yeah. 
I can tell. I'm getting tired though. End of the day, you're tired. End of the you day. You get the mirage off the suppressor and the barrel now. Yeah. You wanna go oh, yeah. one more time? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I'm gonna try and shoot it at 100 yards. We got a, a torso out there. The mirage. Some serious bullet drop. Subsonics. Got it. I think you hit it on the bottom right corner. <laughs> the amount of energy it still has up there. 